it's a very special episode of Tech Tuesday, helping all you seniors prepare for college, which always involves buying new gadgets, of course. I just care so much about you guys. Number five. This may seem like a minor thing, but a USB flash drive could be the most useful and the cheapest gadget you pick up. Flash drives are easy to find and you need not worry about brand names or design since it's really hard to mess up flash storage. If you plan on going cross-platform from Mac to PC on a daily basis, which happens a lot, your best bet is to get two 8 or 4 gig drives which can be picked up for as low as 10 bucks on Amazon. Format one for OS X and the other for Windows and you'll never run into the issue of not being able to get that file where you need it. Also some good news, flash drives seem to have a Terminator-like skill of never being killed. I personally washed one three times with no adverse effects. Try that with your iPod. Actually, second thought, don't, don't try that with your iPod. Don't wash your iPod, okay? Number four. Another commonly forgotten but extremely useful gadget is a simple all-in-one printer. Apple loves to give away these new, with new MacBooks, but if you don't go that route, you can get an HP or Lexmark printer, scanner, copier for under $100. Like it for you, ink has become affordable since it used to be easier to buy a whole new printer than try to find and pay for the right ink. Don't go for the LCD screen wireless smart ones since those features cost you and I can almost assure you that they won't come in handy. If you can't reach a cable from your printer to your desk, then you aren't living in a dorm room. Number three. Now this is a toy that most of you already have, I assume, but a PS3 or Xbox 360 are definitely a staple for dorms, especially if you're headed to a middle of nowhere campus. They are both now set at an equal price of $2.99 and offer great games, so the choice between systems really depends on you. But be sure to pick up an extra few controllers so you don't turn into that antisocial gamer. That goes for gamers who already own a system as well. Another tip, head over to GameStop and pick up a used set of video cables and a power adapter so when you head home for the weekends, but you still want a game, you don't have to rip apart your entertainment system in either location. Just remember, college is about meeting new people, and the ones on Xbox Live don't count. Number two. Another gadget most of you already may have is an iPod Touch. If you don't, then don't get one. Yet. A Touch or even a Zune, if you are totally anti-Apple, is great for both music and productivity, as well as convenient for web surfing when you don't have your laptop on you. However, at least in the case of the iPod, you want to wait till the end of summer when the new models come out. That gives you the choice of getting the newest and best version, or getting a current generation for much cheaper than they are, since they'll be outdated. Don't forget the most important accessory, a good pair of headphones or earbuds. By good, I don't mean expensive and sold at Best Buy. I'm talking about those Dr. Dre Beats or Bose headphones if you didn't catch on. Look for brand names like Shure and Sennheiser for good quality and low prices. Shure SE110s or SE115s are great for under 100 bucks, and Sennheiser and Sony both have pro quality over ears for the same if you're willing to look even more awesome. $100 may seem steep for earphones, but remember, you're going to be in a 13 by 15 room with someone you may want to toss out a window. They will quickly become worth the money. Number one, if you didn't already realize that the most important thing for college is a laptop, then I don't know how you got accepted to college. You need a laptop. You can't print, can't transfer files, and can't update your iPod without one, making this list basically irrelevant without it. This is another gadget that is more based on what you need. I paid over two grand for this thing, but I use it for intense video editing and will use it in my major. If you're headed to college for writing or teaching or other majors that obviously don't require that, then look for a more simple PC laptop that can surf the web and do Microsoft Word. Netbooks from Asus and low-priced laptops from HP and Toshiba are your best bet, and during summer, it's easy to find cheap, long battery life rigs, often packing Microsoft Word for free, tailored towards students. Now, if you're like me and going into graphic design or photography or other digital heavy majors, Macs and more top-level laptops are your best bet. Apple just released a new 15-inch MacBook Pro with brand new cores that will handle anything, and in the next few months, expect to see these being sold with a free iPod Touch. For those loyal to PC users, certain Dell XPSs and Sony Vios both have the power you need. If you really want to burn cash, then you could build your own desktop rig, but that may be difficult to take to lectures. That's all for my guide. Try to keep this in mind when you are reluctantly spending all your money on college this summer. If you can't remember, I understand. Just watch it on YouTube, youtube.com slash techtuesday. See you all next time.